The opening ceremonies for the 2024 Summer Olympic Games are scheduled for one week from tomorrow night in Paris. And tonight's newsmaker, as much as anyone who currently lives in the Piedmont Triad, knows what Olympic competition is all about. But today he's trying to help his hometown win on an entirely different playing field. And as Joey Cheek will tell you, it's anything but an easy task. You said Greensboro is better than just about any other place you live. Why? What makes Greensboro so special? I think we've got amazing access to opportunities and arts and experiences, but we don't have the battle of the big cities. You don't yeah. have the endless traffic and the endless pain. Yeah, and downtown here is, I would imagine, a lot more vibrant than it was when you Look were how far here. this has come, yeah. right? Yeah. You didn't go downtown when I was, when really? I was living yeah, here. You were a little sketch. But. but Joey Cheek has returned to and is singing the praises of his hometown. Today he works with Launch Greensboro, a part of the Greensboro Chamber of Commerce, where he is now Vice President of Entrepreneurship. Launch Greensboro provides small startup businesses office space in this building, and that's not all. Uh, we provide mentorship from entrepreneurs who've done it. We okay. provide classes teaching anything from branding to finances to taxes. Right. Uh, and we provide access to capital. We help introduce you to, uh, to investors. Why did you come back to Greensboro? The real reason was we had my son and my wife and I, we were in Denver. I loved being in Denver. It was becoming increasingly unlivable. And so we said, great, we'll take a month. We'll drive across the country. We'll go to a lot of places. We got here after driving for four days with my 10-month-old and my boxer and my wife. And we hop out of the car and you know, go to my childhood home that my mom still lives in. Right. And she's holding the baby, and my wife's hugging her, and my brother and his wife, and their dog is here, and they're jumping around. And I look, and I'm like, well, I guess we're staying. The homecoming he just described happened in 2021, 22 years after we shot this video of him skating in the Greensboro Ice House, and 15 years after he became world famous for winning gold and silver speed skating medals in the 2006 Winter Olympics. He became such an ambassador for his sport. He ended up on a Wheaties box. His love of this sport led to his forming his own company through which he created a live streaming mobile sports app. That company oh, failed. Colossal failure. Okay, what I happened? I just couldn't, I made every mistake a first time founder will make. Like I, what? I had no idea what the product should actually be. I was unfocused in trying to develop a product and find an actual user base right. for it. I was too scared to ask people for the amount of money I needed to ask. So today he's using his experience in that failed venture along with the years he spent in software development and starting another successful business to help local entrepreneurs succeed. You have said running a business is harder than winning an Olympic gold medal. Yes. Why? I mean the biggest reason is just how messy running a business is. There's, you are responsible for products, sales, marketing, operations, finance, no one can be good enough at all of those things. And in sport, the roles are pretty clear cut. I know when my competitions are and I know what I want to be able to accomplish and I know my role and I know my job. One of Cheek's first initiatives in this job was organizing what Launch Greensboro called Startup Week last March. It's a series of events classes or master classes okay. by entrepreneurs who have been there. The week included Capital Connects in which 10 local companies competed for cash prizes in a Shark Tank-like pitch competition. 20% of businesses fail during the first uh, two years of being open. What is the number one issue that causes these businesses to fail? So far, I would say it's lacking clarity of vision. If you can't say what your business does in two sentences, if you're still stumbling around or whatever, you don't know what you're gonna do, Nine times out of 10, that person is not gonna make it. For someone who may be watching this tonight, thinking about starting a business here locally, what yeah. is your message to him or her? Uh, think bigger. Okay. So I want you to come to me with your idea, and then I want you to go, well, what would I need to take this idea from the city to maybe the state? What would I need to take it from the state to the region? And what do I need to do to take it national? Or what would this look like if it was global? But start with a big idea, because it's gonna be hard no matter what. But he says it's also important for this community to establish a larger pool of successful entrepreneurs to help those who are just getting started, something Cheek calls a 
density of founders. Another one of his priorities, working with local universities on tech transfer, or taking all the research happening at these schools and creating commercial products from it. He believes Greensboro is underperforming in the number of successful companies that have come out of this research. By the way, Cheek hasn't totally left the world of speed skating. In fact, you can expect to see and hear him on TV during the 2026 Winter Olympics as NBC's speed skating commentator. He is still among the world's leading authorities on that sport.